When we come close to the tower entrance, we advance on the other side and go towards the direction of the employee entrance. There are little to no people that go through the out-of-the-sight entrance, so there was not much security there. Two security guards stood in front of a gate meant for vehicles to pass through. We hide in a nearby alley and assess the situation. I don't remember this guy's voice. He doesn't matter. First, we have to get those guards down. While we're doing that, you guys are inside. Oh, that was me. That was me. Oh, I'm sorry. I can reload. <laughs> Is that really okay? We don't know if they have weapons on them. It was only from the old resident district police force's mouth. But the guests don't like the police carrying guns <coughs> around here. So they just have tiny crap on them. I see. But still, be careful. I'm counting on you. Yes, sir. Okay, see, you remembered his voice. I didn't, because yeah. I didn't play him. Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. That guy looks like Keith. He, don't, don't. Keith, honey, I'm sorry if someone would say something about you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that meme is. <clears throat> Benny Shigure members avalanche out of the alley and run to the gate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But sorry about this. They pounce on the distracted policeman, and it turns into an all-out brawl. We're heading out too. Uh, got it! Kojiku and I run out of the alley to the side entrance. Some more policemen appear and block our way. Right! You, ha! <laughs> The policeman raises his arm, baton in hand, over Kojiku, but he blocks it with his arm and the policeman gets a fist to the solar plexus. Ugh, that's some big words you know there, Alba. Be the dude. Yeah, stop right there. <laughs> Whoa! A mob of them rush towards us and we run away to the side like hell. A stumbling and slow policeman gets one of my kicks to his back. <laughs> Take that! He falls forward, his face planted into the ground. The surrounding Benny Shigure members are brawling violently with the police force. Alba! While Kojiku is running to the entrance, he yells out to me. I run after him immediately. Inside the tower are many doors with confirmation monitors by them. Uh, my ID must be no good here. <coughs> Probably. Should we just... Should we just trash it then? Alba, another message. Ren shows his head out of my bag. Uh, what? Now? Wait, huh? I tried to ignore the message, but my coil kept forcibly pinging notifications. What is this, Ren? An unknown behavior. What is this? The lock to the heart has been opened. Oh? <clears throat> oh? Suddenly, the sound of the lock being released goes off, and the door opens. It just randomly opened. Is it broken? Uh, this message says something about the lock to a heart being opened. I have no clue what that has to do with this, but let's just go in. Alright, Kojiku, I guess you're not a romantic. Kojiku turns around to his team members. Uh, please take the elevator to the top floor. We'll also go there. The members, now riding the policemen like horses. What? <laughs> wave their hands to us. <laughs> My, I, what? I think he's, what? what he, I think this is a translation mistake. I think what they're trying to say is like, you know, they're like jockeying around. Like they jumped on the policemen's back and they're like strangling them and shit. I don't think they're actually, like, riding them like horses. <laughs> I still prefer that image. <laughs> Nay. 
Kojiku nods his head back to them, and he and I go through the door. Through the door, we find a long white hallway. So this is Oval Tower. I heard there were areas where regular people could go in the tower, but I see no one from the back door. But I can hear the faint sound of footsteps. They must belong to security officers on patrol. We examine our surroundings and carefully make our way down the hallway. Mmm, it doesn't feel right. Yeah, it's too quiet. And an alarm hasn't gone off or anything. Hmm. Doesn't it mean they're just expecting us? Probably. Without even opening our mouths, we both ask each other the same question. The side door opens so easily. Maybe it's a trap? We continue with caution and eventually see an elevator. It's a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap! <laughs> There are two security guards standing by the elevator. We hide behind a wall before they can notice us. But... Uh, hey, uh, what are you doing over there? Uh, exclamation point! This is bad. It seems we were a little too slow. Footsteps approach us from the direction of the elevator. Oh no. Kojiku and I exchange glances and nod, knowing we're thinking the same thing. Kojiku runs out into the hallway first, and I follow suit. You two are... Alright, clear. <laughs> clear on a smoke break. <laughs> Kojiku knocks one of the guards off his feet. I kick the other guard from the side and dash towards the elevator. I stretch out my arms, reach for the elevator panel, and push a button. Oh, wait, wait! See ya, bitches. <laughs> Have a nice nap! <laughs> Kojiku gives a chop to the guard's neck. He then grabs the sword from his back and hits the other guard in the gut with the scabbard. Uh, Kojiku! The elevator is already here. <laughs> <laughs> elevator! I go inside while yelling for Kojiku, then quickly press the close button. Oops. Kojiku oh, slips. I thought you left it behind. <laughs> no, he's. Kojiku slips in through <laughs> the. Kojiku slips in through the gap just before it closes. Really could have waited here for him a bit more. Huh, that was a close one. You barely made it. Not like that's my fault or anything. The top floor, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, asshole. <laughs> you know you love my asshole. I, <laughs> I press the button labeled for the highest floor and the elevator starts to move. Uh, hey, I was just thinking. Hmm? Uh, why did your team members say to go to the top floor? Is that where Toei is? Or maybe Ryuho? Couldn't it be either of them? I thought you looked into it. I guess so? Well, that's very reassuring. <clears throat> Kojiku goes silent, another troubled expression on his face. I know it's wrong to doubt Benny Shigure members, but it worries me. Why did they say to go to the top floor? Well, I guess important people are almost always on the top floor, so it might have been that. After reaching the top floor, the elevator lowers slightly and eventually opens. When the doors open, I tense up, preparing myself for the police that might be outside. But the only thing outside of the door is another white hallway. I quickly look to my left and right. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Kojiku and I step out. As we go down the hallway, we come to see a huge door. Doesn't look like there are any other rooms, so the whole floor must be dedicated to this one room. We walk up to it, but then stop. They're late. 
Kojiku murmurs. The Benny Shigure members. Uh-oh. They, they said they'd be here, but I wonder if they're okay. They couldn't have been arrested. We can't sit here for long. Our uneasiness clearly evident, we walk to the door. Oh boy, it's this room. Inside is a wide hall, just as I thought there would be. One man stands in the center of it. Ryuho. Ryuho didn't have on his cheerful expression that I'd come to know, but rather was smiling with only his sharp <clears throat> eyes. What, what shit. <laughs> Kojiku. I knew you'd come. Is that what it was? I don't remember. <laughs> Suave, dangerous <laughs> man. You, yeah, <clears throat> pretty much. You bastard. Ryuho. Hello. So you came too, Awabakun. How nice. Hmm. Don't fuck around. You won't lay one hand on him. Isn't that just your problem? I don't know if I'll get my hands on him just yet. Ryuho! Ho! Kojiku raises his voice and pulls out the longsword off his back. The atmosphere in the entire room changes. This again. Kojiku is acting strange. <clears throat> Kojiku pulls off the scabbard and grips the sword with both of his hands. His brow furrows into a deep wrinkle, and he appears terrifyingly hostile. Oops, it's Inuyasha time. If I get you, Albacoon, you'll be my second. No, another one of my most wonderful masterpieces. Draw your weapon! I won't even let you lay a finger on him. You shouldn't be too angry now. Do you remember what I told you? Shut the hell up! Kojiku roars in the air and shivers. That's, you know what? That's actually pretty accurate. Yeah, no, really? Bad things are gonna happen, my friend. I'm sorry. We're, 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 you'll understand soon. I'm sorry. What? I'll, you'll understand soon. I'm sorry. I need to stop him or else. When Kojiku becomes like this, I can see him turn into a body of pure rage. If he becomes consumed by this, he might not even be able to return back. The thought of that makes me shiver. I need to stop it before it happens. Coach! Alwasan! <laughs> Exclamation oh, point! No. When I turn around, I suddenly see the members of Benny Shigure. You guys! One of the members grabs my shoulders. There's something strange about him. When I look at his face, I feel a sense of discomfort. His eyes are dull. They're empty. Expressionless like a doll's. I know these eyes. I've seen them before. When Mizuki was being controlled... You shouldn't stop Kojaku-san. What are you saying? Then he'll... This is what Kojaku wants. Stopping him would be tasteless. This is the only thing I cannot let you do, Awabasan. <gasps> Watch them until the end, together with us. This is what Kojiku wants? For us to watch them until the end? No! Uh, I don't think so. If I do that, then th let me go! The grip on my shoulders loosens. But then the other members come over to hold my body down even more. Jesus. Kojiku! I look over to Kojiku, wondering if he even hears me. I can only see traces of his original self left in his eyes. What are you guys doing? Shall I tell you something interesting? 
Ryuho points to me and the other members. Do you see their necks? Look at the thin wounds. They're on our bakun too. I don't know if you remember, but there was a part near the end of the last part where Kojiku looked at our neck and he was like, Are you okay? You look like you've been hit by needles instead of bug bites. I remember that, but where did that come from? It's, it's about to talk <coughs> sort of about. Exclamation point again. Without thinking, I look towards the neck of one of the members. There are deep traces of needle marks. Those are on my neck as well? Wait, I think Kojiku said something about that too. Oh, okay. I forgot that the game doesn't... I forgot that the game will hit it over the head if you don't remember. My bad. Well, good thing, because I don't remember. <laughs> it's just, no, it's good they do that. I'm just like, I'm not always used to that <laughs> happening. No, like, I remember them talking about it. I just don't, like, understand how it happened. Mm -hmm. It'll be explained, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> That there were needle marks on my neck. Fucker! What did you do to my members in Aoba? You know, when I saw Alba Kuhn loitering in front of the club entrance, it was love at first sight. <laughs> so, on a passionate impulse, I pricked him. I, I want you to I want you to read that I know this is a bad time, I want you to read that sec that sentence again, that it was love at I want you to look at it, and I want you to read it as it's written. Fist? Sight? <laughs> <laughs> no, when I saw Albuquerque loitering around the front of the club entrance, it was love at fist sight. <laughs> so, on a passionate impulse, I pricked him. <laughs> fist sight, huh? <laughs> please don't fist people at first sight, please! <laughs> God, what a bad- it's a, such a bad time for a typo, but I love that typo. <laughs> anyway, continue, Ryuho. With a sort of mind-altering drug, I wanted to see how he'd respond. How he'd come undone, but you interrupted halfway. I knew you had come here, so I had to make a more solid plan. Two objectives. How I'd get our bakun, and how I could quickly stir you up so you could grow out your tattoo a bit. <clears throat> Just so I could prepare for you, I visited the old resident district a few times to set some things up with your petty comrades. I thought that said pretty at first. Nope. Very pretty comrades. Nope. You couldn't have. Yes. Don't you know my needle well? My ever so strictly diligent needle penetrates their bodies and changes their hearts. With that, just one little prick is enough. They can't feel a hint of pain. Maybe as much as a bug biting them. By the time you came into my room, they were already my puppets. <coughs> Ryuho puts on a happy smile and claps once. And when he does, a member holding me down pulls me up by my arms. Ow! Oopsie-doosies! I'm not completely sure, but that sound from the clap Ryuho made. Is he controlling the members with just clapping? Is that yes, that's Kojiku? That is Kojiku. <sighs> Whether or not Albacoon and these others live or die has been in our hands even more than ever now. <coughs> Bastard! I'll never forgive you! I'll beat you to death right here, right now! <laughs> you really did forget what I told you. When that tattoo... Ryuho, don't yawn now! <laughs> when that tattoo was put on you, you were just a child. Luckily, you've come back. 
I'm pretty sure I told you to be careful when you became an adult. Okay. Kojaku, you mother killer. Don't say it! Kojaku's whole body shakes as he roars. It seems like his entire body is swelling up. I thought it was an illusion, but it isn't. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Remember that roaring I was telling you about? Yep. The off is here. <clears throat> All of the muscles in Kojiku's body grow tense, and something like a roar bursts from his now bare chest. On his, on his now naked upper body, the tattoo on his back is in clear view. When I look, I tremble. Rawr. On the left half of his upper body, three pe peonies? Peonies? Yep. Should have been falling. But it's now completely changed. His exposed skin changes into a deep red. It's a different patterns and shape. They coil around his back and up to his arms. That's so bad. As if the tattoo is alive. That is definitely Kojiku. I'm gonna tell <sighs> you I'm gonna tell you right now if you see any unintelligible sound for a while, it's gonna be Kojiku. <clears throat> I see nothing left in Kojiku's eyes as he takes rough breaths. All there is is hatred and anger. <sighs> Kojiku! <clears throat> I desperately call out to him, but it doesn't reach his ears. <laughs> this is quite a sight. Ryuho stares lovingly at Kojiku's transformation, and a grin spans across his entire face. Your tattoo was a one-time experiment. It wasn't formally called one. It was a request from Toei. Toei?! Tattoos are parts of people. A sort of seal. You're stuck with them until the end. It's important to be prepared for that. It's the same way with tattoos. Toei was looking for a way to control people. He must have heard a rumor about me, since he proposed an idea to me. that it'd be possible to control people from a tattoo. I thought it was an interesting idea. He piqued my interest, and I chose you, Kojiku, to be the subject. That tattoo wonderfully eats away at your mind. I can already see it taking over. I gave you warnings to never lose control over yourself, but <laughs> you're such an idiot. It's been growing inside of you, because you hadn't yet matured, neither had your tattoo. So you could revert back after a fit of anger. But now that you're an adult, the tattoo has matured. It absorbs your anger and finally eats away at you until there's nothing left. That's when you two finally unify. When the real flower blooms, it feeds on your vitality, and when it burns it all off, it'll become a lovely flower. Ah ha ha! Ah ha 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 ha! God fucking damn it! <laughs> Man dark. <laughs> Ryuho looks extremely happy, and with a twisted grin, he opens up his arms. Soon I'll have no more regrets. As a result of your sense and my persistence clashing, I'm the winner here, now, in exchange. Take away my spirit. Ryuho! No! Kojiku, stop! My but voice won't- My voice won't reach him! He is a hoe, but you don't have to do this! Uh. Kojiku takes his blade and aims it at Ryuho. Kojiku! Uh. 
An Uh-oh. awful sound reverberates throughout the room. The sword in Kojiku's hands pierces through the body of his worst enemy. Jesus! The tip of the sword pokes through Ryuho's back, and blood drips from it and trickles down onto the floor. Yucky. That is <coughs> Ryuho there. <laughs> Fair enough. Blood flows from Ryuho's mouth as he slouches over, but he's still uh, yes, smiling. I'm sure that is the splatter pattern. The blood trickles down his smile. <coughs> to be killed by my best creation, I've used up my luck as a tattoo artist. <coughs> a large amount of blood drizzles out of Ryuho's giant grin. He looks down and slumps further. Kojiku mercilessly pulls out his blade. <coughs> Even more blood darkens black on Ryuho's kimono, kim- kimono, fuck, and he tumbles to the floor. Ah! I wasn't able to stop him. Nothing could come out of hatred. Weren't you one of the best people to know that? Even so... Why did you do that, Kojiku? <gasps> Suddenly, the members holding me down collapse. When I look around, I see that the rest of the Beni Shigure members have done the same. I lean over them and put a finger to one of their napes. He has a pulse. <clears throat> they just look faint. But what's the meaning of this? It's like they're dolls whose strings were just cut off. <gasps> I'm attacked by a sudden feeling of drowsiness and lose all strength in my legs. Oh, good. I can't believe I'd be drowsy now of all times. I put a hand to my now blazing hot neck, and I feel a place on it swelling up like a bug bite. This is a trace from Ryuho's needle. Everyone, including all those Beni Shigure members, were pricked by Ryuho's needle. Maybe since Ryuho died, his influence has disappeared? I feel so or sleepy. Or maybe not. I begin to lose focus, feeling as if I'm about to fall down. But I can't let myself. Kojiku's still... I shake off the drowsiness and somehow find the strength to stand up. But then... <sighs> I freeze at the sight before me. Kojiku stands there holding his blade as it drips with blood, completely without a trace of his former self. Kojiku! <sighs> Kojiku won't recognize me! <gasps> Kojiku swings his blade and begins to run towards me. I fumble trying to get away with my senses dull and slow when a frightful wind blows just above my head. Kojiku, stop! Kojiku grips his sword once again blazing towards me. (gasps) I throw my entire body to the floor. Kojiku, get yourself together! (sighs) The ominous tattoo coiling around Kojiku's back now spans all the way to his face. How should I stop Kojiku? What do I do? (laughs) Destroy. Destroy, destroy. That is the only way. The only way to stop him. Way to stop him? Yes. Before he destroys you, you must destroy him. With scrap. There is no other way. No! If I use scrap, then Kojiku will end up like Mizuki! If you had chosen the right words at that time, Mizuki's consciousness might have returned. If I had just faced Mizuki, I might have been able to save him. Then, could I save Kojiku too? (gasps) There's no time to hesitate. I can't think of any other way. 
I look straight into Kojiku's eyes. I don't even wonder if this will work or not. I have no time to. It'll definitely go well. I repeat that to myself countless times. It'll definitely go well. I'll definitely save Kojiku. Kojiku! While he charges at me with his blade overhead, I jump into his chest. The sword to the side of my face grazes my hair. Destroy. Destroy, destroy. I ignore my unrelenting headaches and concentrate on Tokojiku's lifeless, pure white eyes. Kojiku, I'm going inside of you!